good morning guys so summer has officially begun for the kiddos they are out for school um look as you can tell they all have that sleepy slumber everybody's a little tired so we're currently on the way to the eye doctor for isaac just to check on his nearsightedness we're actually working with global myopia awareness coalition to spread the awareness of myopia which is nearsightedness in kiddos and i am an example of that because i always had a nearsightedness when i was a kid i had to have glasses and contacts and all that great all that kind of stuff until I um, had LASIK. And he experienced um, nearsightedness, I um, think a few times when he was at school, like he would complain about having headaches and we couldn't figure out what it was for the longest until we took him to the eye doctor and they said, you know what, he probably needs glasses because he's straining to see. And whenever we did that, it did help, but I don't wanna rely just on glasses. So we wanna figure out what other treatments can we do um, to help him you know in the future from now and until the future when he's older and also being that it is summertime most kiddos spend more time on their screens including my kids and it can cause your myopia to get worse and we're going to try to limit our screen time this summer just so we won't have a negative impact on his eyesight so we're going to take you guys along for his eye doctor's appointment and share with you guys more about myopia and just open your eyes so you can go ahead and go to your own eye care professional to help you figure out what would be the best solution for your kids if you are dealing with myopia which is also nearsightedness. So guys, just to make sure I'm clear, nearsightedness is just one symptom of myopia. Myopia is a disease that can be progressive and if not treated, it can lead to more severe eye disease. I just wanted to make that clear guys. So go ahead and keep watching so you can see how Isaac's doctor appointment went. Now, I'm gonna use that perception and put those on for me. Yeah. Like lights. Light over there. Look at the Look at the um, light. <laughs> Puff your eye to your eye. With some light. <laughs> Alright y'all, so Isaac just finished with his eye exam. Now we're gonna meet with the doctor and learn a little bit more about myopia. I've been told that you've had nearsightedness in the family. Yeah, so I had nearsightedness ever since a kid. I didn't know it was called myopia yeah. until um, this actual this partnership. Uh -huh. um, but he experienced it a few times. He said he never experienced this year, but we took him last year and the year before he had nearsightedness a little, like he would get headaches okay. when he was at school. But he said he hasn't really experienced it this year, so I just want to okay. double check and make sure. Yeah, yeah. He's on the, you know, his and games. Oh yeah, oh. and that is um, one of kind of the environmental um, things that can affect myopia mm -hmm. and can uh, contribute to increasing it. And so we always want to keep a close watch on it, especially if it runs in families. So, all right. Well, we will go ahead and get started with the exam portion, and then I'll kind of talk to you more about um, kind of what the prescription is for him today and kind of how his eyes are and all of that. Okay. Perfect. And look right out there. Alright, can you see through my right eye? Or through your right eye? Can you see me through there? Perfect. Can you see that screen? Yep. Okay, so I'm going to make this where it gets a little blurry, okay? You let me know when it first starts to get blurry. 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 Good. Really bright, okay bud? You're doing great. As he um, gets taller and grows, his eyes are also going to continue to grow. And when the eyes continue to grow, um, they can become uh, nearsighted and more nearsighted over time. Like what are, I guess, signs of myopia then? Like how can I like right. look out for it? So it's going to be hard for you to tell, um, especially within a, just a year's time, because he's not really going to notice a whole lot of difference because it'll happen kind of subtly. Um, but some things to look for, like let's say you don't go to the eye doctor, um, and it for a couple years or so. Um, and we should always be able to catch it early on every year. Uh, it shouldn't change too much unless we've had a big growth spurt and then it may change a little bit more. All right, y'all. So we had a good eye exam with Isaac. We learned a little bit about myopia. I was wondering what treatment options were available if you 
if you have myopia or if your child may have myopia, take them to the eye doctor. They will yeah. provide you with their treatment options. Yeah, that's good for you. So we have our treatment option. Actually, this time I will say Isaac's my well, his nearsightedness is not as bad. He's actually farsighted now. And the doctor said that that's actually common for his age. So before when he went to the doctor, he was nearsighted, but it can kind of correct itself. It's not myopia is not really what cure like it's not curable but you can it can be treated what did you think about what they said there's a lot of bright lights <laughs> like the bright lights he kept saying that and then it was funny because right before the doctor came in you know we thought we were done with the lights and he seen this one tool he was like oh that's a air tool it blows in your in your um in your um in your eye she got it it was a bright light another <laughs> bright light <laughs> another one why didn't y'all keep me in there though? Because it wasn't a big room, it was too small. But the thing is, the, and the reason that we, I wanted to have Isaac check just because I deal with myopia. It wasn't called my, well, it probably was always called myopia mm -hmm. at the time, but I didn't know it was called. It's commonly anyway. referred to as nearsightedness. Yeah, nearsightedness. And a lot of people, like I used to always confuse the two. So nearsightedness is when you can see up close, but you can't see far. And then far sighted is when you can see really good far away, but not as good close up. Mind blowing. <laughs> I always mix it up every time I did it. Yeah, I used to confuse the two too. Yeah, y'all, so we learned a lot. And one thing that we learned that can help with myopia and to slow it down, especially for the summertime, you know, kids have a lot of screen time, you know, mm -hmm. during the school year, but especially during the summer, mm -hmm. they have a lot more free time. Yeah, so they might try to get on them video games and stuff. And yeah, we're a little bit more lenient in the summer. So in, so in light of that, we're gonna do a, a, screen, a screen staycation. staycation. So oh, 24 yeah. hours without any, uh, any electronics, and us just having fun outdoors. Right now it's a little rainy, so we're gonna wait until that clears up and gets nice and sunny again. So make sure you ask your eye doctor about, you know, treatment for myopia and not just using the conventional glasses and contacts. And check out GMAC's website in the description so you can learn more about myopia. All right, y'all, so we're back. Uh, we're picking up where we left off. Um, the one is going to show you our little myopia kit. So guys, we have our kit here from Global Myopia Awareness Coalition of all the fun things that we're going to do so we can have a 24 hours staycation, screen staycation with no electronics. Are y'all ready? Yes, ma'am. Are y'all going to be able to handle no electronics for 24 hours? No, ma'am. She won't be able to, but we will have friends. <laughs> Well, you we're do. gonna take this challenge and we're gonna do it. So you guys go ahead and head to our TikTok page where you can see all of the fun. So good. There we go. That was so easy for a frisbee. Zaza. It's the flick of the wrist. It's the flick of the leg too. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh! <laughs> Nice, nice. Mr. Krabs. I would I would have grabbed it perfectly if you didn't get rid of <laughs> Isaac and hit Mr. I'm try with my left hand. Okay, <laughs> left hand, I'm terrible with it. Uh, so you're a right-handed thrower? Yes, sir. Oh snap. Watch Zaza. Zaza. Tennis. Look at Zaza. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one that can't throw a frisbee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Ooh! Ooh! Yet you can throw oh a frisbee, God. Isaac. Except, you just <laughs> that was almost his life. All right, y'all. So today has been a fun day. We're finna yes. end it here, guys. So how did y'all enjoy your screen staycation today? It was fun, but I need my video games back. I need to get back to the real world. Well, it's hey. summer. I will not see my friends for a long time. Yeah, we'll let y'all like. It's, it's gonna be in moderation. How do you how do you like today, Zaza? Oh, I like it. It's very fun. Oh, now my body is super sore. Oh yeah, that's that's. I know it is. Boy. The the second we got out there, it was so hot. That's the thing though. So it's perfect for the for that sun thing. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. It like was the, very fun though. The water at the end. Oh yeah, yeah. And the sun experiments. Yeah, guys, so kids had a ball doing their staycation. I enjoyed it as well. It's good for the family, you know, to help reconnect and get your head out those electronics. So guys, if y'all want to try to get your own staycation kit and also learn more about myopia, visit the GMAC website uh, to learn more and to find out more about the kit. We'll have the link in the description box down below. 
Also, to find out more about myopia, ask your eye care professional what you can do to slow it down and to see the new treatment options, y'all. But until the next time, Screen Staycation out.